Uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, if you're new here, uh, I welcome you. And uh, for those who are coming in uh, for another view, uh, feel welcome. In today's um, video, I am going to show you the tour of my living room come dining room. Uh, I live in a three bed house, semi detached. Um, and even though I have quite a um, an average larger kitchen than most, especially in the UK, people don't tend to have very big uh, kitchens. Mine is quite um, a big size. So I will show you the tour of my living room and uh, I do hope you're going to enjoy. Uh, so coming from outside, we have a very tiny a corridor as you can see the door uh, from outside the light is coming through and just a little bit of a space to just step in and just literally either go upstairs or step into the living room which is where we are headed right now uh, so even as you can see uh, it's a bright uh, lovely day today uh, there's one thing that I love about my living room. It is the massive window that we have, which just brings in a burst of light through um, even on very dull days because uh, it's quite big. So even in dull days, there's still good enough light in the room. Uh, these paintings on the walls, I would like to tell you a little bit of a story because all the paintings on the wall they are actually done by a very good friend of ours who uh, we met out in Poland she is a very lovely lady she uh, does painting as a hobby and in her house it's actually an art gallery and uh, when I met her the one thing that she gifted me uh, on my first meeting the first year my birthday was a painting and she over the years she has painted quite a bit for our family so yeah those are her paintings and I will be showing you some more even as we go by like this one was painted in 2012 as you can see uh, this one was done in 2016 I think somewhere there um anyway on on the window i just got rid i i used to have curtains so i got rid of the curtains i have this um uh blind wooden blinds which i find they are more convenient they are easier to clean now that i do not have to uh remove the curtains and clean them all that much so i have the net the nets because at the end of the day uh, just we live nearby the road and there is a business there are some people coming in and out and all that kind of stuff so you just need a little bit of privacy so coming into my living room uh you can see we have a four seater uh sofa on this side of the living room and on this other side we have a uh, three seater so that is more than enough space for a family of four we don't need so much space um this is where we tend to just have a lie in watch tv just have you know hang out as a family and all that kind of stuff when the children are not hidden in their rooms doing um stuff of their own like my son he likes uh, building legos on his um in his room so he has his lego collection um pieces in his room so coming down here we have the bookshelf obviously uh we have i have a few collections of books that i've read over the years some of them are my husband's and we also have the albums and some other not very important documents and the nick 
tricklets of um, just like this is just a simple kind of holder that uh, I bought from the local supermarket and I have the lamp which is matching the same lamp at the end of uh, the other side and this plant I got as a gift from my children for Mothering Sunday not very long ago. Um, this picture, obviously, uh, if you are new here, you might not know, but I, we are a very religious family, so that picture or portrait of Jesus has an important meaning for us as a family. And then uh, here we have just some little fun just reminders who we are as a family so this one says our family just the right mix of cares and love and that is true for who we truly really are and this one says with love love is the key to happiness and i have this plant that we bought um i think we bought it uh in august last year 2020 and the plants inside were quite tiny what you do you buy the plant uh, you remove the cork you water it only once so we have never opened ever since we bought the plant we've never opened it again to um, water it is just works in the way that I don't know how the water circulation works or whatever mechanism that you don't need to water it which I find very interesting I don't know how that chemistry works but yeah this uh, for, uh, uh, painting is the first one that I got from my friend out in Poland uh, and it was a birthday present which was given uh, way back in so this is a personal message that she written uh, for me let's have a look what is written uh, because of uh, of my love for the word of God she said for the reason and uh, is was given in March of 2008 so it's quite a long time ago so we've known her for quite a while and she is a very 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 lovely lady and she has a very special place in our hearts as a family in my heart as well um so down here as well is all the pictures all the paintings that she's done for us over the years so yeah we really do appreciate all the things that all the paintings that she has done or given us over the years yeah so you can see this one. I really, really love this one. I, I find it. And because uh, where we used to live, we lived at the seaside. So I think that's why the theme all around is uh, the sea. Uh, this clock, uh, <laughs> we bought it, uh, I think it was during the, um, the Jubilee of the Queen on the 60th anniversary of the queen that's why you can see it has the shape of the crown so they were being sold and i bought it because i think it looks just um different yeah it's not something that you would normally just go and get in an in an on a normal day so i bought that one because of the uniqueness and then it also reminds me not that i am a um, person who follows the royals but it's just a good reminder anyway, even living in this country. Uh, this is another painting um, that I really, really love. You can see how the colours are so intense. Those little, little details. I find that um, somebody to have so much talent and she doesn't do it as a job. It's just something that she loves doing and she loves gifting friends such paintings I find that very 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 nice and of course we have the telly where we just watch the movies and news and whatever else nothing important nothing to be said there uh, and on this corner we have obviously the uh, drawer where we put those extra things that we don't use every other day I like 
the draw is the same is the same uh i have uh even with a with a shelf with a bookshelf i like the way that is round the corners you know the it's quite uh, you know when you have children they can bump on stuff and just get themselves hurt so i i found it very um interesting as a design but i also like it because uh, it does not have sharp edges and that is obviously me and my husband uh, on our wedding day back in Poland um, that is this year will be 17 years we'll be celebrating our wedding anniversary and this one is also a candle holder I have the same one on the other end same as the the lamps uh, you know sometimes you just buy something and you say oh yeah I like that but uh, this one I just we just bought it as a kind of a standby but well it's been serving us well over the years um, this other uh, plant is a house plant that my husband usually takes care of I am not a very green handed person so my husband tends to take care of the green plants in the house and out in the garden uh one of these good days especially now that it's getting warmer i will start showing you um as we start putting in new plants and the ones that we also already have uh coming through and uh yeah we have a lovely garden and that is courtesy of my husband but i do give him a hand from time to time and these little plants that I got not very long ago, this one we've had it for maybe two years now. Uh, they are succulents, so they are good uh, for somebody like me who doesn't need to take care of plants and water them all the time. So this, I could say, is a good idea for people who like uh, real green plants at home, but they don't need to be taken care of all the time, watering and all these other bits but these other ones that we bought not very long ago maybe about two months ago or something like this yeah they are still doing well and i usually like to have some kind of like a diffuser in my house at any one given time i tend to like a uh, reed but this one i don't know what it was uh it's called um tonak bean yeah, but it does have a very, very nice, good smell. On this wall, uh, last year we did um, we did painting on the walls. Uh, surprise, surprise, the walls were actually having a brown color, very intense brown. And I was afraid to actually change color. So for me, going white was a little bit scary. But I've ended up loving white. I think white uh, in the whole house makes it more um, more authentic, uh, more clean cut. And my husband said, oh, why don't we put um, um, a gallery different from what we already have? So we decided to go for this um, print. So uh, they didn't cost much. I bought them at uh, online at a company called Atesta. If you would be interested, you can Google and uh, yeah, I think one for one printer paid twenty five uh, pounds. That is together with the frame. So it, it depends with the size. If you go to the site to the website, you will find uh, whatever size they are and whatever costings they are. So I we I uh, I am not a person who likes these kinds of stuff, but because uh, at the end of the day you have to have compromise in the family. My husband wanted, so I decided why not. And then I wanted it also to tie in because the frames, as you can see, they are black frames, so they are matching and tying together with that black um, little shelving and that black little uh, cut um deco and they also match with the black so those little accents so because a lot of stuff is uh natural wood like with the shelves and the drawers 
so I tended to get off from that so the safe color is to have a little bit of black to offset too much of a wood accent in the house anyway I also have this lamp which I absolutely love the funny story is when I bought it um, online in in Wayfair I bought it I think for 135 pounds it costs uh, when I bought it first time, I was really, really worried. Let me show you how it looks from under. I was really worried because it looked unusual, especially when it arrived. But I find it is actually the focal point when you come in the room, especially when you're new, when you when you live in and you get used to it, so you don't find anything interesting about it because you're seeing it all the time. But is uh, a focal point for somebody who comes in the first time and they see oh it's quite unusual and I love it because it ties in with the theme around the house so you have the black with those uh, light ho um, bulb holders and then you have the white under and then you have the brass um, that is coming through and it matches well with everything is tying the deco ties and is authentic so there is no kind of like confusion everything is looking uh, mismatched so for me that's one thing that i love about uh, interior design when you're thinking about what you are buying is it matching is it going to correlate with everything else that you have around in the room uh, this table i love the table we bought this table uh, uh, maybe around maybe uh, eight years ago it was a very cheap table but it's a solid wood table oak table and i love the way uh is the 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 the, the legs or the feet however you call them um i just love the design i actually wanted to buy a dining table with such kind of feet but whatever i've i found either it was done in glass so i didn't want to have a glass top table because i just needed to keep the theme of um the wood for my table so with that one i just left it at that but the, ta the table we've had it for quite a while and uh i i love it on this end is where now we have the dining table and i specifically bought the flowers so at least I would be able to show you. Um, so with the table, uh, as you can see on the edges, it's the same kind of design with uh, the small drawer on the side and the bookshelves. The edge is round. For me, I find it very safe, especially child-friendly when you have small children and especially because my house is quite small so you want a room where um somebody is not going to bump on the edge of the table and get hurt or, or something like this so for me that was a safe choice and secondly because the table usually this side this part of the table is an extension so usually when we are just home at the four of us uh, we had removed this one, we had extended it because it was Easter and uh, we had our celebrations. But generally we have it, this this part uh, is hidden away, tucked in under the table. So it's an extended table. But it's also good when you're thinking about when you're having visitors, you are entertaining. So you have a good uh, enough space to be able to entertain. Not many people, but enough people because at the end of the day my house is not that big is enough for us as a family and just entertaining a few more people but not a massive crowd and then um over the table i do not yet have a lamp that is a plan that it will be coming through we will be putting a table um a, a, a lamp over the table which is more convenient because when we are having dinner we have to put the light which is over the sitting area uh here we have on the dining dining wall we have the gallery pictures 
up until maybe two years ago i did not have any pictures around the house of the family so i just challenged myself because sometimes you put stuff on facebook and you don't bother to put anything outstanding so i just put a gallery pictures for my family and uh even though uh they might just look like a girly they have a theme so that theme is me and my husband on our wedding day and then that one is my daughter's baptism that one is my son's baptism day that's uh, my daughter for her holy communion with my son there and this is a christmas and this is also a christmas picture and this lady is the lady who uh, did the, the paintings around my house and those other ones are just themes of holidays or just family time together i have this little um wooden uh, poster up there this i brought with me from kenya many many months ago so we are talking about um 17 years ago i bought with my f good friend fab we went to the which market did we go to Wh whichever market it was and uh yeah i find it very comforting because it's more of a prayer it's more of a something that i pray that it remains true for us as a family that may this home be a, he a heaven of god's love and peace and uh, yeah that's what we try to remain as a family to keep um to make this a, ho a home and to keep it a home where there is peace and there is goodness and this one i will show you they are just pictures of my children when they are both at six months old so i just wanted for each and of the one of them to have a picture of themselves when they are that young and on this one um i just made a picture of uh it says family a bit of crazy a bit of loud and a lot of love and then there is my mom and three of my sisters my stepmom and my husband and my two kids and uh, yeah so that's in a nutshell is how my living room looks like and i hope you enjoy it so if you enjoy this video uh be sure to uh leave a comment uh a like or subscribe and uh because uh in the coming uh, months especially we are going to be doing a diy around the house we are going to be doing the kitchen the bathroom and the toilet and uh be sure uh to follow us and uh subscribe so that you will uh see what we'll be doing around the house and uh you can be inspired to do because it's not that we know how uh to do but is uh learn a learning uh, process so thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye for now